If you've tuned into the previous episodes, it should be apparent to most of you by now that the September 2013 ban list was not nearly effective enough in thwarting the Dragon Ruler onslaught. As a result, a new ban list went into effect on January 1st, 2014. Dragon Ravine, Return from the Different Dimensions, Self Destruct Button, and Sixth Sense were all banned from official tournament play. Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Infernos, Debris Dragon, Magician of Faith, Redox, Dragon Ruler of Boulders, Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms, Tidal, Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, Final Countdown, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, and Spellbook of Fate were all limited to one copy each. Chaos Sorcerer and Lone Fire Blossom were now semi-limited to two copies per deck. And finally, Archlord Christia, Constellar Ptolemy M7, Mizuki, Plague Spreader Zombie, TG Striker, Tour Guide from the Underworld, and Fire Formation Tanky were now unlimited to three copies. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Some folks just don't know how to let a good deck die. Dragon Ruler has been absolutely eviscerated by this point. All of the babies banned, the daddies reduced to one copy apiece, and yet people are still forcing it. They are forcing it almost exclusively in this deck, Hieratic Ruler. Why, you may ask? Two reasons. Firstly, the card you see in front of you, Hieratic Dragon King of a Tomb, is very accessible with the Hieratic's six-star monster spam. It allows you to detach a material to special a dragon monster from your deck and make its attack and defense zero. That doesn't say a Hieratic Dragon, so it's a very easy way to get a daddy into rotation in a hand that otherwise would not be able to access a ruler. Secondly, it's hard to get fodder for the rulers, even at one copy apiece, but Hieratic Seal from the Ashes does a bit of a bang-up job. Once per opponent's turn, it allows you to send a Hieratic from your deck to the graveyard, and once during your turn, you can target a Hieratic monster that's banished, you know, maybe off the effect of a ruler, and return it to the graveyard. This effectively allows you one additional ruler activation over the course of one turn cycle, which means that you're almost always going to be able to rank up into a 7. This combination led to a very powerful deck in Hieratic Ruler that took a lot of names at top tournaments. Now you can see it's also playing a bunch of really silly cards, things like Card Card D because Hieratic kind of lacks a good normal summon, Skill Drain because the rulers and the Hieratics play very well with this card, and Luster Dragon number 2 as a normal dragon that goes to 0-0 zero, zero if it's summoned from deck. Outside of that, it's a lot of stuff that we've come to expect in Dragon Ruler. A lot of ways to dump individual rulers with stuff like Dragon Shrine, potentially representing two if you send the Luster Dragon or the Flamevale Guard. A lot of really powerful trap cards in Solemn Morning, Call of the Haunted, and Torrential Tribute. And a lot of really powerful cards in the extra deck in the form of hand traps like Maxi, Electric Virus, and Effect Veiler, and cards that sweep the existing metagame like Overworked versus Fire Fist. We are looking to leverage not only the very powerful rank 7s at our disposal, like Dracosack and Big Eye, but also the very powerful rank 6s enabled by Hieratics, things like Gauntlet Launcher and Photon Strike Bouncer. Hopefully we can do so against Simo. Let's go through the card by card. We've got 3 Card Card D, 3 Hieratic Dragon of Esset, 3 Hieratic Dragon of Sue, 3 Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit, 1 apiece of each ruler, 1 Flamevel Guard, 1 Luster Dragon number 2, Book of Moon, Triple Shrine, Triple Convocation, Triple Upstart Goblin, 1 Bottomless Trap Hole, 2 Call of the Haunted. Uh, you're going to be bidding a ton of Hieratics over the course of the game with Hieratic Seal from the Ashes, so it's almost never offline. Double Skill Drain, one Torrential Tribute, a Solemn Warning, and two Trap Stun. In the extra, we've got, of course, Black Rose Dragon, Colossal Fighter, Crimson Blader, a Scrap Dragon, and a Stardust Dragon as eight star monstrosities you can make with the Flamevel Guard. But of course, the Black Rose Dragon can be made with the Guard plus a Hieratic Monster as well. We're also playing Tolmi M7 as a six, Double Gaia Dragon as a seven, Gauntlet Launcher as a six, Double A Tomb as a six, extremely important, Double Dracosac as a seven, one one Big Eye as a 7, and one Bouncer as a 6. One of the early extra deck negation tools available to Yugists. So, 
let's hope we can wring another win out of the dying ashes of the dragon rulers. You know, sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh is hard. Reading's hard, memorizing combo lines is hard. You know, just playing decks in general is difficult. And so why bother memorizing different combos and being able to figure out how to maneuver different situations with a million extenders when you can just drop one big idiot, throw up a bunch of floodgates and pass. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Bujin. Now, what's interesting about Bujin is that we've actually had these cards as early as Judgment of the Light. And then in the next successive uh, core sets, we were actually getting bits and pieces of the deck to be able to finally culminate in what you see before you. I think the most recent piece of support was Bujingi Hair, but I'm not 100% sure on that. This was one of the later pieces released. But when it comes to this deck, this was a deck that a lot of people liked because it had a very simplistic play style. It wasn't exactly very fun to play against, but it allowed you to actually play the game in a different way compared to playing like these Hieratic Ruler decks, these Infernity decks, these Karakura Girgias, these Mermails. It's a much slower type of game, but it's a very explosive deck nonetheless. The deck centralizes around Bujin Yamato. This card reads, once per turn during your end phase, you can add a Bujin monster from your deck to your hand, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. You can only control one of this card. So what's neat about this is that this is sort of where the protect the castle style of gameplay comes from, because Yamato by itself will always be generating you advantage, getting you whatever card you need in any particular instance, and you by protecting the Yamato, you're essentially ensuring yourself that you will win the game. All the rest of the cards in this deck are to ensure that Yamato will stay on the field, so that way you can continue with your win condition. Mikazuchi is a nice follow-up play because when a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster, hence Yamato, is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. You could also just normal summon this after you normal summon Yamato on your next turn. Once per turn during your end phase, though, if a Bujin monster was sent from your hand to the graveyard this turn while this face-up card is controlled by you, basically Yamato, you are able to add a Bujin spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So this allows you to keep the engine advantage going by getting into cards like Bujin Carnation, which allow you to get back into the game or even seal the game up altogether. But let's go ahead and do the card by card. Next up, Bujin Arasuda. This is another one of the main monsters, but Arasuda didn't see a ton of play. It was typically only played as a one of, but at the very least, it's sort of just for utility. It can be like an okay card. It has an effect that's similar to Mikazuchi, but in addition to that, once per turn during the end phase of a Bujin card was added to your deck to your hand this turn, except by drawing it while you control this face of a card, you can draw one card, then discard a card. So it allows you to just filter another card instead of searching for something exactly like Mikazuchi. And then we have all the supporting Bujins. Most of these Bujins want to be either in the hand or the graveyard to be able to activate a respective ability while you control a Beast Warrior Bujin type monster, namely Yamato. So Centipede, while it's in the graveyard, you can banish it from there to target a spell or trap your opponent controls and destroy it. Crane is basically Kalut for all you Blackwing lovers out there, except it doubles the attack of the monster, uh, original attack, so uh, Yamato would go to 3600, and which is a great way to keep it alive in battle, but it only lasts till the end of that damage calc. It doesn't last till the end of the turn like Honest would. We have Double Hair, which when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to protect Yamato from being killed by battle or card effect. We have Turtle, which can protect it from being targeted. It can negate an effect that targets, which is pretty nifty. And then Bujingi Quillen is neat because you can banish it to target a face up card your opponent controls and destroy it. So Centipede can go after back row. Quillen can actually pop monsters, which is pretty nice. And then we have three Effect Veiler and one Honest, because Honest is basically your fourth copy of Crane. For the spells, we have a Book of Moon. We have Triple Tanky to get us to our Yamato. We also have two Bujin Carnation. This card's pretty neat because if you control no monsters and your opponent does control a monster, you target a Bujin monster in your grave and that's banished. You special both and then you immediately exceed into one of your Bujin monsters. Actually, it doesn't have to be Bujin. It can be a Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast type exceeds monster. So this is a huge comeback card that allows you to really get back into the game. Foolish Burial can send any of the utility Bujins to the grave to ensure that you have more protection for the Yamato. Forbidden Lance is here to protect this castle style of deck just to make sure that we have anything else covered. It can also duel as a battle trick like Crane. So it's got a lot of utility. And then we have probably the most bannable card in this deck, Kaiser Coliseum. This card was released all the way back in Magician's Force and really didn't see its time in the spotlight until this format exactly. Holy shit, this card is oppressive. So if there's one or more monsters on the field of the controller of this card, his or her opponent cannot place a monster on the field if his or her number of monsters would exceed the number of monsters that are on the field of this card's controller. So basically, if I control one monster, Joseph can never have more than one monster on the field. The cards that are already on the field before this card's activation are unaffected by this effect. But basically, this restricts the amount of plays that Joseph is allowed to do because if we have Yamato, he's only allowed to have one monster on the field 
which means he can't go for synchro plays, he can't go for Xyz plays, and it's difficult for him to be able to deal with Yamato, because Yamato can be protected by battle, we have Crane to make it, so if he attacks, he's going to lose his monster. It's a nightmare to deal with, and there's a reason why this card is banned. I really hope we get to show off that reason why exactly in this episode. We've also got triple MST for back removal and triple pot of duality. This is just more ways to get to Yamato, and if we already have Yamato, we can just pick any of the utility cards, which is perfectly fine. And lastly, just three Decree in the trap department with decks like Fire Fist and Gear Gear running around. Decree, you can just completely nullify any of their ability to interact with you, and that way it's just less cards are going to have to be able to deal with Yamato. You don't really care about traps in the slightest, except for when you go into the side deck. For the extra deck, we have all your rank four goodness. We have Abyss Dweller. We have Tiger King because these are Beast Warriors, so this is great for searching Tanky, which can get you to another Yamato. And then we have the Bujin Xyz. Bujente Susano is actually an incredible card. You need two level four Bujins, and it can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. And once per turn, you can detach to add any Bujin monster from your deck to either your hand or to your graveyard, which means you can set up for the utility, or you can get another follow-up with either Yamato or Mikazuchi. This card is just fantastic, and probably one of the actual Bujins you would want to make. The other one is Kagatsuchi, which is okay when it succeeds someone, you mill the top five, which the purpose of that is to actually get more of your Bujins in the grave. But more importantly, it's actually just very difficult to kill, because if a Bujin Beast Warrior type monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach an Xyz material from this card instead of destroying one of those monsters. So it's a bit bulkier to kill. And then we also have Sukiyomi as well, which does see some decent play in other decks outside of Bujin. You can detach a material, send your entire hand to the graveyard and draw two cards. Decks like ABC take advantage of this to just get cards into the grave to summon the ABC Dragon Buster and refuel their hand a bit after their combo. So this is an okay card as well, but doesn't come up as much in this deck. We also have Constellar Omega because we are playing lights. Diamond Dire Wolf is just good removal. Exitons in here as well. Cowboy for finishing up games. Honor Arc's just probably one of the best rank fours at the time, as well as Black Ship of Corn. Crazy Box is just funny, and we have Star Liege Paladynamo because, again, we are playing lights. And then for the side, we have two DD Crow for the graveyard decks, two Maxi for any of the heavy special summoning decks. These will probably come in against Joseph. Three Prohibition to make it so that your opponent can just really never interact with you. I don't know if we're going to side this, but it's very funny. Two Swords of Concealing Light. This card's very interesting for being able to deal with stuff that may have, like, weird protections, so that's a neat card. We have one copy of Twister, a Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell, a Transmigration Prophecy, and triple Vanity's Emptiness. Later on, the decks just start main decking this card because with the way the format shaped up, Vanity's is broken, people realize this, and yeah, that's basically all she wrote. So I'm excited to play this. Uh, probably not going to go super well considering Joseph is playing one of the most explosive decks of the format. Maybe very die roll dependent, but we'll just have to see. It's anyone's game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Joseph, here we are once again. I am still in the shirt because apparently I am a terrible duelist, and we're going to try to remedy that by playing a deck that requires no thinking whatsoever in Bujin. How are you feeling about this matchup, buddy? This is twofold. We're trying to get you out of the shirt by allowing you to play a deck where there's zero decision points, but also we are playing a deck in which I have many decision points, which bodes very Excellent. poorly for me, Excellent. as viewers of the Infernity game will probably be able to tell you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how people are still watching this series at this point. I mean, like, do they, they probably don't even think we play Yu-Gi-Oh! at this rate, but, yeah. you know, we gotta, at least we're entertaining, right, at the very least. Mm. Let's go ahead and shout out the patron. It's Joshua Prusser. Thank you for the support. Buddy, do you have the hand up? Uh, I do. Let's go odd. It was even. One for every remaining dragon ruler. Uh, you might actually win this one, then, because I'm not going first. Uh, I just figured I went even last episode, so I'll go odd this time. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's hope for a brick. On your end, not mine. Oh, oh, my end actually looks pretty good. Christ alive. Oh, I forgot how much I hate playing Hieratic. All right, I'll draw for turn. <laughs> sure. Stand by me. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? All good. All right, I'm going to go Hieratic Seal of Convocation. I heard this card's pretty good. You know, it is. It's all right. Now, uh, usually you'd use this to get Tefnuit and then special the Tefnuit. However. But. <laughs> all right, it's not pretty, uh, but we're going to get Hieratic Dragon of Esset. Sure. Uh, we're going to normal summon the Esset. Makes sense. Uh, we will... God. We'll tribute it for a uh, Hieratic Dragon of Sue. Uh, I'm going to trigger the graveyard effect of Hieratic Dragon of Asset. When it's tributed, I can summon a dragon normal monster from my hand decker graveyard and make its attack and defense zero. Get this one. <laughs> Oh, it's in the hand! Uh, I, I wanted so badly to not have to do that, but here we are. 
I love when Yu-Gi-Oh happens where we just get these cards that are old as fuck, like Legacy of Darkness old, and they just happen to work in a deck. It's mm. amazing. All right, we're going to make Hieratic Dragon King of Atum here. Sure, this card's uh, pretty good. We are going to uh, trigger the effect. We are going to pitch uh, the Luster Dragon number two to summon a dragon monster from our deck. Okay, uh, Ash Blossom? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you know what's really <laughs> funny about this card? It does not have to summon a Hieratic, nor does it have to summon a no. normal. Uh, so no. we are going to use it to get a blaster. <laughs> okay, sure. Makes sense. Uh, now, there's only one dragon ruler piece, so we have to use these sparingly. Um, I am going to banish Eset and Tefnuit to summon Red Ox from hand. I would very much like to keep the Tefnuit, but if we banish the Luster Dragon, we lose the game. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, we're going to overlay these two, and we're just doing Dragon Ruler shit, dude. All right. There it it's is. like Dragon Rulers with extra steps, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 of course. We haven't used Blaster this turn, and I don't think we're going to, but, you know, on the off chance. Let's get a couple of these bad boys, and we will set one card and pass it back to you. All right. I mean, that seems like a pretty okay start. I'll draw. Standby phase. Yes. Main phase. All, good. All right. Uh, well, deck doesn't really want to go second, and you can tell just by the composition of my hand why that's the case. So I'm going to try to figure out a way that we can make this work. So uh, let's go ahead and summon the central component of the deck. We drew the Yamato. There he is. Uh, so then uh, this is annoying because you have Draco Sack, and like Draco Sack isn't exactly pair well against this card, but I do need to start picking away at your board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to try to hit into your Atum. Uh, no response to this. In the damage step. Yep. We will drop Bujingi Crane. <laughs> All right, so you'll go to 36 and I'll take 12 here. That's correct. All right. Okay, that loads your graveyard up with some more dragons, which isn't ideal, but we have to do what we have to do. Uh, second main, I'm going to set one card. I'm going to activate Kaiser Coliseum, and then the end phase, I will declare Yamato. So with him, we get to add a Bujin monster from deck to hand, and then send a card from our hand to the graveyard. So I'm actually just going to immediately add and dump Bujingi Hair and pass the turn. Yeah. Um, I will at end step activate Hieratic Seal from the Ashes. This card is sick. It is. Um, resolves the outstanding problem of Dragon Ruler, which is they don't have enough dragons in rotation. Uh, during your turn, I can send a Hieratic from my deck to the graveyard, which I will do now. Uh, I think I am going to send, and then okay. I will draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to, in draw phase, trigger Ashes in order to return sure. an asset to Graveyard. All right, we're going to try for Dracosac here to pop the KC. Pop the KC. Uh, can't do anything about that. Oh, thank way. God. I was like, I can't do anything <laughs> about that either. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate Dracosac here. Uh, we will activate Blaster here. We'll banish okay. Sue Atum. To summon him. Okay. Uh, I'll go to combat and attempt to attack. Or let me switch this guy to attack. <laughs> no, that's bad. You're going to switch a token to attack. Uh, I'll just attack here. Oh, you're just doing the blaster? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Damage step. We'll crane again. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'll take uh, Eight. 800 here. Just like Kalut. Uh, I'm just going to set one card and I will pass back to you. Imagine playing back row in Hieratic Ruler. So strange. Tell me about All right, it. I'll draw. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Mikazuchi. Wow. Yeah, there he is. I'm going to overlay. Okay. For Bujinte Susino. There he is. Uh, I will, if you'll allow me, activate the effect. I will detach the Yamato. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and I think I would prefer to have some protection because Susano is pretty beefy. I'll send Turtle. Sure. Uh, let's go to battle. <sighs> Yep. Now, Susano's neat. It can attack all my opponent's monsters once each. So we're going to try to eat all the tokens. Yep. And we'll try to eat the Draco sack. Also fine. All right. Uh, we got there. Uh, then that's going to do it for me, actually. Go ahead. All right. Let's seal. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bin uh, Nebtet. Sure. And then in draw, we'll bin Sue. This is so strong. I mean, this basically gets you one Dragon Ruler <sighs> activation every turn this card resolves. Tefnuit, Nebtet for Blaster. No response. Well, that's one. Uh, let's go Asset Sue for Redox. 
Uh, still no response. It's just agony if it's Crane. There's just nothing I can do about it if it's Crane, I think. Let's go Dracosack. On summon, I will book. Book's fine. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, we'll draw. Let's start by firing Susano. Uh, with Susano, I can get Yamato to get another body. I can get Centipede this deck is actually playing would take care of your Ashes. And Ashes isn't like a, pr it's not a major problem. It's just kind of annoying more than anything. I think we just go for the Yamato. And we'll add him to hand. Uh, let's fire Duality. Let's see what we get. Oh, those aren't bad. Baylor's pretty good if you go into another Xyz play. I already got a turtle. Quillen's not bad either, but you don't really have anything face up. I'll take the Veiler. Get rid of that. Uh, let's run out the Yamato. Yep. Battle uh, Susano over Dracosec. Okay. And we'll try to go 18. Yep. Uh, I will just proceed to end phase, trigger Yamato. Sure. We'll do Ashes here too. Uh, I will add and then dump the card I immediately add. So I'm going to go for a, I guess I'll just get a Quillen in rotation. So let's do that. Sure. I already got everything else. All right, let's return this to the graveyard. Okay. Stand by me. This is a thinker for sure. This is actually a lot more interesting than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> me too. Let's activate Dragon Shrine here. That seems pretty good. Sure. Let's send Tempest. Uh, let's go Red Ox, Banish, sure. Blaster, Asset. Uh, let's go Blaster, grab Flambell Guard. Guard. Yes. There he is. Okay. Um, uh, let's go Tempest. Sure. <laughs> the double Drake. I guess that works. You don't need dragons yeah. when you have Tempest. Sometimes it, uh, it works out just fine. Uh, let us normal summon Flambell Guard here. No response. Okay, we'll do these two to grave for an eight. We'll grow Scrap Dragon. Sure. Scrap Dragon effect, I'll target uh, Ashes, and let's do Yamato. You have used Redox already. You've used every I've ruler used all the rulers, except yeah. title. You just don't have title right now. You could, though. I'll Veiler, sure. Sure. Uh, I can go to combat and clear the Yamato, but I can't clear Susan Owo. I can clear Susan Owo, or I can clear Yamato. Uh, let's go to combat. Let's go Scrap Dragon into Susan Owo. A damage step. Oh, uh, do you have it? I don't have the third crane. It's much worse. <laughs> You're fucking with me. Dog! <laughs> All right, what is this? You take 24, because I gain 28. Uh, we'll go Tempest into Yamato. I will hair this. Sure. Uh, I'm going to Call of the Haunted. Ooh, that was the back row. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get Scribe Dragon. He's back. If I had better sevens, you know, this wouldn't be an issue. Uh, we'll just go into Yamato here. Uh, sadly, that is fine. Uh, you remember that Susano is still pumped, so I'll take <laughs> a thousand here. Uh, and you do take for the uh, for the Tempest attack, right? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. So I took an extra six. Thank you. Uh, second main. Let's go for Scrap Dragon again. I'm going to try Susano and the Ashes. Uh, I got a turtle. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Set one and... I mean, there are very few cards in your deck that do it, but sadly, there are cards in your deck that do it. So we are just going to have to pray. Draw. Space Call of the Haunted. Well, it looks like this is lethal, right? Potentially. Uh, I'm going to activate Trap Stun. Does this work? <laughs> Let's look it up. <gasps> it stays. It stays. Yo! <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh. And then I'll go CL3 seal. Interesting discovery. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning much here today. So a full disclosure, I have no idea why it works this way. I imagine it's something like the monster is paired to Call of the Haunted until its effect is negated for a turn. If anyone has a good guess. Yeah. And I think that's probably going to win you the game here. Uh, I could, I mean, I'm not out of it. Like I still have life points, but it's going to be pretty hard to come back from this position. So I still have a Quillen in grave. So I can Quill and Pop Scrap Dragon. Your Tempest is going to go back to hand. 
can, but you're going to have plenty of dragons to banish just to go into a rank seven. So it's not looking good. Uh, I think I should have prioritized keeping Yamato over Susano because then I could have at least kept searching and gotten like another protective card. So I think that could have been where my misplay was. Uh, let's go ahead and just pop the scrap. And I, there's no point in attacking and crashing here. So I will just pass. All right, back to hand. Draw phase will seal. Yep. Uh, you know what's really funny is this deck is playing two Draco Sack. So we do not have very many good ones left. I mean, you still have big eye, I'd imagine. Yeah, we do. Uh, I'll go Convocation off the top. Do I still have targets? Sure. I do. I have exactly Tef knew it. <laughs> Which is pretty good. <laughs> special Tef knew it. Sure. Uh, let's go uh, Flamvel Guard and Eset for Tempest. Sue and Scrap Dragon for Red Ox. Overlay these two uh, for Big Eye. Uh, we will Big Eye take. And then this is 24 45. 21. All right. There's a, ch there's a chance. I don't know what I Sadly, can rip there is off a chance. the top here. Back to you. Uh, that does not do anything. All right, game two. That was oh. that was actually quite a long game one. I'm surprised. Well, Joseph, even though you won that last one on a technicality, uh, you know, it was it was still actually a pretty decent game. I was expecting to just get completely blown out because I went second, and I actually was able to claw my way back in and almost won, except for uh, Trap Stun Call the Haunted. You learn something new every day. I get to go first, though, so I think this is going to be a much different game by comparison. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think this game might be a little bit different. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes it infinitely better. All right. Uh, Tenki. We're going to get the boy. Why would he be a beast warrior? Where's the beast part? We will summon him. Yeah. Uh, we will duality. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, Buddy, I can't beat this. And the Kaiser. Buddy, oh, I my God. I have to think now. Ooh, this is actually a tough call. Uh, yeah, we'll take Kaiser. Let's make your life a living hell. That seems like I a good know. idea. <laughs> I actually think I put it back in the deck. Whoops, uh, I will grab it quickly. I need to shuffle anyway after the duality, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, we'll fire the Kaiser, sure, why not? And you know what, buddy? Let's just make your life even more of a living hell. Let's just set three back row, and uh, let's trigger this Yamato. I feel like getting hair first, so let's go ahead and dump him after adding him to our hand, and we'll throw to you. Good luck! <laughs> Do you want to just go to game three or? I mean, if you want to, like I I'll play it out, but you know, it might take me a while to kill you. All right, let's go one, two. I'm going to activate shrine. I have no response to shrine. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably blaster is the best one. Uh, it's because he has the most attack points. <laughs> and we'll normal card card D. Oh. I will attempt um... to card card. Do I ah. have a response to that? I forgot they sort of played that card, huh? Yeah, fuck it. You can draw your cards. I don't care. Really good ones. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Back to you. Okay. Excellent. We'll draw. Sadly, Yamato just doesn't immediately add me a card. That would be pretty nice, but it doesn't work that way. I don't even think I need to do anything else. I'm just going to go to battle and just smack you for eight, or 19. Oh, no response to this. Uh, I will just go to end phase and activate Yamato. I'll try skill drain. I have no response to skill drain. You may proceed. Okay, stand by main. Um, All good. Fuck. Upstart? I'll take a thousand. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, geez. This is... I love Casey. Casey is I, such I, a I, For anyone who has card. ever wondered why this card was banned, this will be the episode to show you why. <sighs> I do find it very funny, though, how Kaiser Coliseum, I believe, is from Magician's Force and, like, never did anything until 2014. <laughs> yep. I'm going to normal summon Asset. So you're actually at 19 because you're skill drained, correct? Oh, it's like a terrible Beast King Barbados. <laughs> I have no response. <laughs> I guess I'll try to crash. So I'm under skill drain. It's my best way to do this. I'll Lance you. <laughs> <laughs> so he returns to a thousand and then loses two. Is that right? Uh, so I think because skill drain already negated him, he stays at 19, even so though it's seven, not affected by skill drain anymore. So I eight. think you just take the eight here. Cool. Uh, if I'm wrong, you know, someone can correct me, but I'm fairly certain that's how it works. Go ahead. 
<laughs> All right, we'll draw. Uh, excellent. Uh, you know, if I got another monster, I could win this game a lot quicker, buddy. Uh, I will try to get in. You bet your ass I'll take that. Okay. Uh, second main, I will set another card. <laughs> Go ahead. Stand by main. All good. Asset again. Sure. Combat. Wow. Forbidden Lance again. <laughs> awesome. Oh, no, that's another eight. It's another eight. All right. I will call targeting blaster. I will vanity's empty. <laughs> Dog! I opened the FTK. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> oh. I love you, Geo Man. I, I love <laughs> Me too, Geo. buddy. Me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> At a 30 minute slog of a game where we're both down to like no resources. And then, second game, you open the FTK. What more is there to say? I guess, dog. I, I suppose. Oh. All right, let's see what you got. Lord you're going first, Almighty. so that's not going to bode too well for me. No, I think you're going to be fine. This is this is a rough one for sure. This is a rough one. Uh, okay, let's just uh, do a little back row oh. here. Oh. Oh. I like this. I like this. I'll draw. Stand by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main one. Uh, is Tanky going to resolve? Oh, uh, yes. It is. Okay. Uh, no MST, I guess. Uh, we'll get the boy. Yep. I mean, if you have skill drain, you have skill drain. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. I'll summon him. Uh, summoning him is fine. Are we going to be able to smack for 19? You are. Uh, second main, I'll fire Kaiser Coliseum. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And I'll set two cards, and I'll try to activate your mod. I have skill drain. Okay, skill drain. Uh, fuck it. I don't care. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Stand by me. Oh, okay. excellent. Now you have you have seen this play before. I will normal hieratic dragon of assets. <laughs> it's third time you know, the charm, buddy. We are playing the exact same game. We just live in hell, is what we do. <laughs> if you have the fucking forbidden lance again, <laughs> die! How? Oh, all right, I'll take eight. That's no problem for me. No problem for me at all. Second main, I'll set another card. Fuck it, we're just control decks now. Go ahead. Activate the crank. <laughs> oh my god, I lose. 19. Uh, I'll book. Uh, oh shit, that actually works. Uh, fuck, yeah, sure. How are you playing decree or trap deck? <laughs> I'm not a trap deck. Oh that's the thing. The traps are in the hand. <laughs> they are in the hand. Uh, wow, that's actually kind of bad for me. Uh, thankfully, I have Kaiser up, but Ooh. you know, won't do me much good if you kill Yamato. Uh, go. <laughs> What's the defense on Yamato? Two hundred. Thank the Lord. All right, uh, I'm gonna summon Red Ox by banishing Blaster and Asset. Um, I will chain Maxi to this. All right, whatever. Uh, Blaster effect. Sure. Uh, combat. Sure. Wow. He's down. Okay, second main. Boy, I wish Scrap Dragon could activate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can make him. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good idea. Um, I'm going to normal summon Asset. And back to you. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Okay. Um, well, you might soon see the problem with this deck, and that is if you kill Yamato, things start going south very quickly. <laughs> I think you've got some time, buddy. I do have time, but I don't know if I have enough time. I will set one, and I will pass. Uh, this is uh, crusty, but it is card cardy. I mean, in this situation, that's pretty good. Uh, thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, card cardy's fine. I'll try to draw. Okay. All right, back to you. Please? Uh-oh. And now you have Redox. Yeah. Just drew two more. I also know you have Flambell Guard off Blaster, correct? Right. Uh, Asset's a thousand, yeah? Uh, when did we summon him? Royal Decree was I already up. I believe you summoned him. I think Decree was already up yeah, because it was the turn that yeah. you, yeah, you cleared Yamato and then summoned yeah, Asset. Yeah, yeah. I'll try for a crane. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to kill this off. I'll take six here. Yep. Uh, second main, I'll pass. Okay, stand by main. All good. Upstart. I'll gain a thousand. Uh, this is crusty. I have to dark hole here. Because you need crane off so you can Kaiser. That's fine. Yes. Uh, convocation. Uh, let's grab Tefnet. All right, I'm going to banish Esset and Card Cardi for Red Ox. It's an Earth. Uh, normal guard. Sure. Uh, sync these off for Scrap Dragon. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna go Scrap Dragon, target the Royal Decree, and uh, the back row closest to my deck, I believe? Yeah. So this one? Yeah. Uh, this is fine. Sure. Uh, my card is Torrential. Uh, we're gonna go Guard and Tefnuit for Tempest. I will chain vanities. Okay. Combat. 28. Uh, back to you. Something. That's not what I meant. I guess it's pretty close. God, I just need something. This is also awkward too, because uh, I'm not in fear of death. I will set one and pass. Stand by me. Yep. All right, you know, battle. I'll find one of these cards eventually, I promise you. <coughs> oh, and there it is. Hey, there it is indeed. I'm so sad. <laughs> tragic all right do you lose uh, that goes here? Empty. uh yeah because the card went to grave uh, or did it like <laughs> technically not hit the field is it one of these situations let's find out yeah i, I think it stays it seems like it. Would i think stay. it stays yeah i actually think it stays because it's technically with warning it never hits the field so technically it's not a card from the field to the graveyard right. uh and then if it whatever i mean i'm probably dead now that you just warning my yamato but uh, I will hope you do not have a normal summonable monster. Go ahead. I'm going to give you another turn here. Upstart. Okay, that helps. Didn't help me. Uh, wah. Please. All right, one more. Back to you. This is just like you with Infernity, right? True. I have how many ways to get to Yamato? There's so many ways. Oh! That is one that's of them. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. I need to think here. Uh, so I'm getting Yamato. That's obvious. Yes. Any response? No. The reason I need to think here is because I need to consider what your back row is. Uh, you can't warning me. Uh, I, it might be limited, True. but if it's not, you don't have enough life points. Very to do correct. Anyway. The only other cards I've seen out of you are like Trap Stun, which doesn't really matter. There is Call the Haunted, which is like semi-relevant, but I don't think it's too relevant. I actually think I might be safe enough to flip my decree here. Oh, yep. That's pretty good. Try for it. Yep. Do I fear attacking? What will attacking lose me into? I don't have to attack. Scrap can pop, though, if I don't. So I may actually be forced to here. Uh, let's let's go for it. I'll go to battle. Yeah. I'll attack. That's fine. Damage step crane. Okay. Well, we always knew that was happening. So this is... So you're going to take nine. Uh, ten, you take a thousand because I'm at 38. Sure. Yes. Because Crane doubles original attack to 36, and then I have two tankies, yeah, so yeah, 38. Yeah. Uh, second main, I will go to end phase. Yes. I will add... Ooh, this is this could actually really matter. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll tell you right now, it will matter. Let me see what you got here. You have exactly two dragons that are Earth. Very funny. I think I know you have Tempest from when I vanities you, so I know yeah. one card you have. You get to draw into another. My life points are slightly low. I think I need to protect... Yamato. So I'm going to send hair out of an abundance of caution okay. and pass the turn. Yep. Wow, that is a heck of a draw. That's a draw Aroni. I did not expect this match to be this fucking close. The KC is so annoying. This is the most annoying card in history. Okay, I'm gonna dragon shrine here. Can't do anything about that. Uh we're gonna mill Luster Dragon number two. That's actually such a sick rip for you. And oh Sue. Yes. Uh, let's banish Scrap Dragon and Sue for Tempest. Uh, I will attack. I am forced to hair here. Sure. So I'll take uh, 400 because I'm pumped up by Tanky twice. Right. Uh, and that's all I can do with Casey on the field. We'll draw. <laughs> no, you did not rip Crane. You did not rip Crane. I have nothing here. No! <laughs> You're telling me you I'm ripped. simply too good. I'm just simply too good at the game. You ripped in order after I turned the tide. Decree, <laughs> Yamato, Yamato, Crane. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Oh, oh my god. Good game. Those that were was so holy good. Shit. This was so good. People give fucking Bujin such and I understand why, right? Mm. Like this is miserable to play. Look at my field. These yeah, are like yeah. the three most hated floodgates like in Yu-Gi-Oh history all simultaneously active, yeah. right? Um, so I get it. In most circumstances, playing against this deck sucks. But holy shit, that match was actually crazy. But you're like, I'm not playing against it. I'm playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I think what makes the matchup interesting, though, is because 
you have just natively bigger guys that can contest Yamato. Right. Where like most decks just can't natively summon like a 2800 or a 2600, right? right? You also have access to shit like skill drain post side where you can make it so that okay, I may have floodgates up, but what the fuck am I doing, right? You saw, I went like five turns praying I didn't get killed. And if I didn't draw my ways to Yamato, I lost the game immediately, oh, which yeah. is the big flaw of the deck. So I think that's like what made this interesting, even though it was like a floodgate fest on my side. Man, like we got to see Hieratic Seal, the ashes go in in game one. We got to see a lot out of both of these decks. Mm. And it's not hard to see why both of these decks were decks people were considering for this time. Not a lot to say about this one. I feel like we both got to do uh, our stuff. Um, the one thing I didn't really yeah. get to show off was the rank six pool obviously uh, a tomb is crazy as a way to get to dragon rulers um but uh bouncer is nice um bouncer's nuts and yep. most importantly gauntlet launcher is crazy yeah um, <laughs> it just pops a monster <laughs> uh but obviously the all-star of this deck with relation to the dragon rulers is a uh, hieratic seal which basically reads you no longer have to worry about the dragon rulers and there was a point in that game one where i considered popping this and i'm like nah it's not going to be that relevant and boy was i wrong it even i think that card carries if you. you pop it yeah like. the amount of value this card generates like i understand why some people were max i think your deck is maining three copies of it right mm -hmm. i mean you may not have stuck with that but yeah no 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 there were a lot of people on it just just unbelievable and we didn't get to see a lot of like my extra deck because in all honesty the only card you really care about is like susano mm -hmm. like everything else if it comes up you'll play it but for most part it doesn't because yamato is just so much value for the deck and you don't really need to extend any further because if you got kaiser up you just need one monster and then just keep generating advantage off the yamato i had valor in hand the whole time in case you tried anything but it just never really made sense i could have valored scrap but then you could just done it again next turn if i didn't kill the scrap mm -hmm. so it just seemed like a waste but yeah i think we got to see most of like what Bujin does and Bujin's gonna be around like this deck sticks until probably duelist alliance format right yeah. I know they ban Kaiser like obviously because this card's fucking just oppressive as shit I'm pretty sure until duelist alliance format Bujin is like one of the best decks of the format no for sure um and I guess I am excited to see more of it so guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim 0 x 3 MBT Play, Medolce, Ika, Iron Fang, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Phoenix the Immortal, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretsch, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Matthew Brady, Max, the War Rock Investments Janitor, Valen Jackson, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say, Alpha Tribute, Benten, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, The Anti Big Brain, Ben K, OTK Play, Simping for Simo, Mike Ties, Stolfin Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The Undertaker versus CMO and MBT. Wait, play the concert video one more time. Hunter Reed, TTV Shrugs IX, Cayman CJ, ITF, Dark Echo, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.